So hi guys, welcome to another vlog today. Super exciting, it is the first race weekend of the season. I've managed to bag myself one of these, a very, very limited ticket to the opening round of the GT Cup season where we're gonna see Richard Marsh and Sam Randon in action trying to defend all of our titles which I'll go into later. Anyway, first of all, let's get into the track and look at the new Porsche. I'm here with GTV pole man Sam Randon and defending champion, may I add. Congratulations Thank on you. last year. Sam, obviously a lot of controls in this Porsche 911. Talk us through some of the buttons that you're going to use in today's sprint race. So, first of all, obviously we've got to start it. Ignition, start button down here. Um, and then um, we've got brake bias here, so we can change how much brake pressure we go to the front or the rear wheels. Sure. Uh, we've also got ABS in this car, uh, which most Carrera Cup cars haven't got. Um, so we've got wet settings, dry settings and off. Um, all the mandatory lights, indicators left and right, uh, hazard lights, um, headlights and... So when um, you're, let's say you're in this category, you've got a lot of different classes, some faster, some slower. If you need to get past people, you literally flick in that switch so, to flash to let them. That get one might be on, but the, this is the one, the high beam flash. Okay. Um, so that's the one, that, the button that gets mashed. So you're traffic. literally just spamming just that. Spamming okay. that button. I'm coming through. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm coming past on this sure. corner. Sure. Yeah. Um, so they're also on the steering wheel. Uh, we can change the display so I can look through the, the pressures, the temperatures. Uh, okay. Brake bias, fuel level, etc. And some of that lap you would, timing. You would relay that back to the team. Yes, I mean the team might be uh, on the radio. We've got the radio button here. Sure. Um, uh, they might be asking me how the temperatures are. Um, in which case, hopefully, I've got the page there. Uh, if not, I can scroll through. 
and, uh, and find the right info and communicate that over the radio. Cool. Um, other than that, we've got the pit speed limiter. Um, definitely don't want to be caught speeding in the pit lane. Definitely. Uh, Is there a time. financial fine as well as a time penalty? I think or? That, providing you don't completely take the mic. Sure. I'm sure if, you, if it's a mile an hour, I think it's just a slap on the wrist and a time penalty. Sure. Um, I think if someone went through at race speed, then there'd be uh, there'd be money exchanging hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what we do, which is what we don't want. No, definitely not. Exactly definitely that. Not. Okay. Awesome. So obviously, race one. By the time they've watched this vlog, will have happened. So. Let's wait for them to go past, they're going to be really loud. Okay, perfect. So obviously, by the time the guys have watched this vlog, the race would have already happened. Hopefully you've already come first in class. Hopefully so. It's Where fun. can the guys re-watch the race? So I think the race will be posted on YouTube, on the GT Cup um, page. Um, and we will post that to our Facebook and Instagram channels. I'm sure you guys will as well. Perfect. Um, for all the viewers. And it will be on the bottom of this video, so click the link once you finish watching the vlog. of this battle that we've got there's a big 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 spin and you're not going to recover from that I'm afraid to say and that is the number 34 car of So that's the sprint race over. The next one is the longer feature race, which includes a full driver change. Obviously, as you've seen in this video, we've got a big driver and a little driver, so they can't obviously use the same seat. So our man Elliot over here is going to show you what we do in the pit stop. Take it away. So the pit stop, we have a pit window of 10 minutes halfway through the race where we have to perform a driver change. We do have a minimum pit stop time of one minute and 25 seconds, but that goes very quickly when you have to fit a seat insert to a company for the smaller driver. So in the pit stop, we will end up pull Richard out of the car. Then we'll fit Sam's lovely insert to take up the extra space.
on the grid with the Porsche is the 50 minute endurance race. Obviously Richard Marsh is starting this one, Sam will be jumping in later. Let's find out how they got on. So TSL didn't quite catch our transponder uh, on the pit entry, so it logged us down for a four minute pit, to uh, or pit stop, which put us a whole lap down uh, compared to our competitors. Luckily it was sorted just before the checker flag came out and we ended up with a P1. Uh, very That is the first race day of the season complete and we've picked up our first winner's trophy thanks to Richard and Sam who have won the GTB category today in the afternoon's feature race, which is really good. So tomorrow we go again with another practice, qualifying, race and then a feature race. So that's good. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we win a few more races. Uh, but for now, that's it for this video. Like it, subscribe, comment, let us know what you enjoyed from it and we'll see you in the next one.